Hi Praveen, I am a fresher, I am a third year student and I am moving to the fourth year. Should I learn DevOps or not? Hi Praveen, I am into the two years of non-IT and I want to move to DevOps. Is it correct time to move to DevOps or not? Hi Praveen, I am into mechanical non-IT domain. I want to move into DevOps. Can I move into DevOps or not? Hi Praveen, I am working as a support engineer. Can I move to DevOps or not? All your questions are answered in this one video, starting from the fresher. If you are a fresher, I would request you to start with coding guys. At least 20 to 30 percent of coding knowledge you should have as a fresher because freshers are always in a mindset that they should get a job but you actually miss what company is asking or looking at you not necessarily dsa but start exploring at least small python code which hits the rest endpoints gets the data manipulates the data and send it back to some server or you can start with plain java code where you can understand some kind of java coding is done for resolving an automation for resolving and problem small one line of like one file of code or two files of code start exploring that understand the spring boot java application with that what will happen is when you are sitting in the interview you can at least tell 10 to 20 percent of flow diagrams flow charts you can tell confidently to the interviewer that yes boss i know java and little bit of i can have understanding now if you know 30 to 40 percent of java or python code then devops is for you now if you are in third year fourth year learn devops to upskill your resume learn devops to get the confidence learn devops to know the latest technologies in the market which will help you to grow your skills now think of this way you put an heading of automations where you keep java python little bit of uh, groovy and shell and in the next two projects, you keep off DevOps and uh, DevOps and maybe uh, monitoring projects, right? And think of this way. Others who are in your class, no one knows of these things. But you as a person have tailor made your resume and kept an interviewer is impressed. Now make sure you are making him happy and getting selected in your college itself in the campus placements because right after the campus placements it's very difficult in 2024 to get a job now suppose god is not with you even though you have done hard work but you are completely failed in the college don't worry my only suggestion is don't sit in the home don't knock or room lock yourself come out of that comfort zone and start going to walk-ins guys if you have any company in your locality knock their door and tell them that yes boss i am fit in these these categories my home is here only i am willing to give an uh, give an in-person interview now not the first company not the second company at least 20th company you will get it go far have the checklist around your surroundings what type of companies you have go far 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 and get at least one offer even though it's 10,000 5,000 no worries Yar first set in the interview at least wo paise paane ki cha. let's start with that support your parents tell them that okay mom okay dad i got 5000 rupees this is for you i have bought right so un logo ko bhi ek yaar confidence aayega yes my beta can do in, instead of like aap kuch nahi la rahe ho in college itself right so that is very important now let's assume that you didn't get walk-in drive, you didn't get campus placement, that third opportunities start with freelancing. You can take any of the uh, any of the website like Fiverr, I have given the link in the description. Check out that and start applying for the freelancing opportunities. Earn $5, $3, start working for free any kind of projects or contribute to the CNC of very good projects are there. Kya pata yaar, aap mehnat karo, khuda aapko kuch na kuch, right? The, he will give the opportunity to you or whatever the God you believe, just believe him and start working hard. Now, this was completely for the fresher. Now, if you are an experience from non-IT, yes, DevOps is really good for your betterment of life, for upskilling your task, for making sure that you are confident and completing the projects or tasks or automation, whatever is given to you. But provided that you have to follow the DevOps roadmap, which is already shared in this channel. So walk out all the previous videos and complete the DevOps roadmap. You should be at least knowing like 70 to 80% of the tools in your resume and make sure that your resume is ATS friendly and your skills are up to date as per the current market standards. So this is for non-IT who is looking for moving into the DevOps stream. And if you have experience into non-IT, don't worry. There are many, many opportunities. Go to the LinkedIn search for jobs section. You will find plethora of opportunities. Apply, apply, apply at least 20 to 30 jobs daily and at least try to get like 1 to 2% of jobs onto the call and make sure you are sitting in the interview at least one job per day. Right. So this was for non it two experience guys who are moving, uh, who are looking to move into the DevOps. Now coming on to the third category, Praveen, I am working in a support role. Praveen, I am working in a DevOps role. Can I upskill and move into core DevOps segment? Now, I am very much openly telling you there is no such component of core DevOps segment. Whatever you are doing are the DevOps tasks. Whatever you are doing 
are the tasks where everyone is doing. But if you want to increase your package, if you want to join some product based organization, if you want to support your parents, if you want to get better work life balance and better compensation structure, then definitely this is the time where you can upskill yourself. Even though people are telling like recession is there, Devin has taken jobs or something bad is happening. Don't worry, start applying for the jobs, make your resume strong apply 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 fail and then apply and make sure that you are upskilling yourself as per the standards of 2024 right no one is going to give you free of anything free of cost of anything uh, every interviewer every recruiter every company tries to grasp some of the other qualities of you and also for the experienced guy system design and coding are the two qualities which you need to have if you don't have these two then better start preparing now and check out my channel i have given about system design i have given about coding i have given about python boto3 automations so all those automations are covered in our channel and five free playlists or courses you can think of i have already covered in my channel so what are you waiting for just check out all the channel details and if you have liked the motivation the josh and the energy subscribe to the channel and share the link with your friends so don't worry if you are a fresher guys everyone will get the opportunity don't worry if you are a non-it you can easily come into devops don't worry if you're an experience you can upskill yourself for betterment of your lifestyle so that's all for today's video don't worry if you have anything in your mind comment in the comment section i'll be definitely replying you to with the best in answer so stay tuned until then take care and bye